These videos are part of the William and Flora Hewlett Foundation's effort to share the results of the evaluation that the Aspen Planning and Evaluation Program is conducting of the Foundation's strategy to strengthen local advocacy in Sub-Saharan Africa for access to reproductive health and family planning. The strategy seeks to apply five principles to the grant-making approach. These are intended to shift power and resources towards civil society organizations who do the advocacy work on the ground. The Foundation hopes to see all five principles reflected in the work of the grantees and their CSO partners, and the Foundation will hold itself to the same five principles. These videos discuss each principle, what the evaluation is finding, and the experiences and perspectives of two members of the evaluation team who have decades of experience in civil society organizations across the continent. The Foundation is committed to long-term partnerships between civil society organizations and our grantees. This is best achieved through multi-year grants that include core flexible support. As evaluators, we wanted to know, are the grantees really setting up long-term partnerships with these CSOs? Is it really meeting the needs that the CSOs have to have reliable support over the long term? Because we know if a CSO is receiving support one year at a time, they don't have confidence about the future of that support. And if you're working for that organization, you might worry, will I have a job next year? And in fact, we saw that many of the CSOs said, we have a real problem with staff turnover. And we think those are related. I like to share the story of a CSO that is working on campaigning for girls' education. The theory of change that the CSO has been posing is that if you educate a girl, then the girl can one day earn an income and plow back by coming back to support the society and also coming back to support the household. Now this is a theory of change that has taken many years to prove. It has taken over 30 years for this particular organization, CSO, to be able to educate girls. And today as we speak, there are some girls who have gone to work back in the same CSOs and they are actively supporting other girls, their own communities and their own families. So the theory of change has been proved. But what we are saying is that CSOs require adequate time, sometimes even up to 30 years, in order to be able to achieve the advocacy win, in order to be able to prove that truly we needed to educate the children, that truly we need to use family planning services. It doesn't happen overnight. We have to invest time and money, enough to support the CSOs over a long period of time in order for us to achieve the advocacy gains that we want. You're so right, uh, you know, change takes time. Um, and what we're really talking about here is how much um, comfort do we give to organizations to be able to work uh, in, in, in a long term. Because in, uh, you, if you look at most of our organizations, the grants that we give, get is for a year, two years, maximum three years. But if um, grantees, intermediaries, are getting five years grant, are getting course, uh, you know, support for their work, are getting uh, organizational development support, the question is, don't the CSOs need the same thing? Don't they need to also uh, be trusted with long-term support? Don't they need to have more support for, for their core and operation? Uh, don't they need you know, more support in, in, in this uh, organizational development? So I, 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 I really uh, think that if we want you know, change to happen, we also need to, 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 to change the, 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 the process because many of these um, uh, local organizations, they have high turnover of, 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 of staff. And, and it's many times they are more capable staffs that actually move on and get, you know, um, be, to be recruited by, by, by other, other levels. I think in financing the CSOs, 
we need to be quite mindful of the fact that, for example, cases in court do take many years. So the result cannot be achieved overnight. We need to give the CSOs adequate time to go through the many years of fighting in court in order to make sure the rights are claimed. But at the same time, we need to realize that in Africa, the policies, the laws, the budgets, the strategies are only changed over a very long period of time. It doesn't happen overnight. Most of our strategies cover five years. Most of our national strategic plans cover over 10 years. So providing the CSO adequate time, many years to implement, is very important. Yeah, a one-year grant is definitely not a good idea if we, we're dealing with policies.